Okay, here's Finn's finished nursery. There's the giraffe head. Here it is. Dun, 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 dun. Finn! <laughs> I love this room. I'm so happy that Gunkle, Scout Masterson, and Billahorn helped me do this room. And I gotta say, out of four nurseries, I think this is my favorite one. This one, I love the look of it. I just think, I don't know, I'm really proud of it that we did it and it's very retro meets modern. And now I'm gonna go through all the pieces in the room. First and foremost, this amazing paper by Temp Paper. You can see it. It's so gorgeous. It is temporary paper that you can actually put up and then take down. So like right now we're in a rental house um, so we can take it down and not ruin the walls. Moving on, here's the crib that I love. But I gotta say, it didn't start with the crib. It started with the changing table. And my dear friend, Erica Domasek from PS I Made This Fame, she actually, when I was in the hospital, sent me a picture of a dresser similar to this that her friend had found and, and had in her nursery. And this is Duck Duck. And I became obsessed with the hits. And this is the Savannah Changer with the custom finish. I love it, I love it, I love it. And then the Regency Crib. I think they're amazing. What an amazing company. Gorgeous pieces. This crib is outstanding. And I gotta say, Finn likes it too. Okay, the Spy Dresser I'm obsessed with. I'm obsessed with everything in this room. In orange. And I love this dresser. I have it in Hattie's Nursery. And I definitely wanted one from their company. I love Spy in Finn's Nursery. It's that amazing pop color. And then with the modernism of the dresser, I wanted to put some vintage pieces because I wanted this nursery to be really retro modern. So these are two vintage mirrors. Can you see? I love the wear and the tear on them, the aged look, because they're old, and I love old with new pieces. I think it's amazing. Found these at a flea market. They were supposed to go in my store inventory. Never made it there. Came to our house instead. Like everything I find at flea markets most of the time. Then I found these amazing antique lamps with little giraffes, very Regency, and we just had new shades put on them. Now Finn's nursery actually started with this guy right here, Mr. Giraffe. I was at an antique store and I found this giraffe and I thought, oh my gosh, okay, giraffe. I don't know why, I love this little antique giraffe. And so I always say when you're decorating a room, go for one item that you love or a piece of fabric you love, something that inspires you, one little thing. It can be as tiny as this little giraffe and build the room around that. And that's exactly what I did. And then we have this amazing five foot tall giraffe that Uncle Billy and Scouty gave Finn when he was born. Love it. And here in the crib is the Nook pebbled mattress. And it is so soft. Look at this. Shh, shh, don't judge my nails. It's so soft and cozy for baby. Then over here, oh, the Nook pebbled changing cover. This one was specially made to match his mattress. But above it, whew, one of the crowning glories in this room. Another flea market find. And this is amazing. I love this. It's glass. It's actually painted glass. They used to do this a lot in the 70s. It's really, really cool. And then over here we have the Finn Rocker. No, I don't mean it's Finn's rocker, which it is, but it's called the Finn Rocker. I remember when I was in the hospital and I was online because there wasn't much to do. I was laying flat in a hospital bed for two and a half months. I would go online and just kind of, you know, go through websites, shopping sites, and crafting sites, DIY sites, sites I love. And I was on Anthropology, big fan, and I saw this rocker, and not only was it the perfect shade of kind of that kind of um, mid-century yellow that I wanted in the room, but it was called the Finn, F-I-N-N -N, Rocker. And obviously at the time we didn't know if I was having a boy or a girl, 
but we were convinced it was a boy and if he was a boy he was going to be named Finn. So I took that as a sign and I had to buy this rocker. And then I want to show this amazing macrame mobile. Is it mobile? Mobile? That my friend Chris made for Finn. So look at this. Bringing her macrame back. Macrame, I think. Totally 70s chic. With an updated twist now. And he made these little giraffes. It's called salt dough. I'll post the recipe on my site. But it's actually made from food. It's all the elements you would have in your pantry or in your kitchen. And you can make dough out of them. Bake it. And then just paint them. This rug is not a rug at all. Ta-da! They're actually placemats. I found them at a yard sale. And they're these really cool kind of... I'm gonna say like Mexican placemats that I got. I, I thought they were really cool and I decided to make a rug out of them. I came home and we all know my husband's super crafty. I'm like, can you put these together and make a rug? And he did. And then I wanna show you something that the entire family made for Finn. And this is his bookshelf. I actually bought this bookshelf at a yard sale for $5 and then we came home, we matched the paint of the Finn Rocker, we went to Home Depot and they matched paint, got it made, and matched the paint, brought it home, and the kids actually painted this bookshelf for Finn, had he watched. <laughs> Thanks for checking out Finn's Nursery.